Hey there, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of 3B TV. I'm Brian. This is 3B Farm and Homestead here in beautiful upstate New York. And it has been a while since I posted a video. Uh, we were on vacation last week, and so leading up to us going on vacation, uh, I just really had to focus on getting some things done around here, getting things buttoned up and prepped. And then when we got back from vacation, I've been trying to kind of get caught up. Um, and so... Anyhow, hopefully we're going to get back to doing some videos, although um, right now, just the busy time of the season uh, that it is, uh, I'm not quite sure how many of, man, I'm getting these horse flies on me, and there's one right there, I'm going to kill her, come on, man, daggum horse flies, whew, man, that's one part of the, the this time of the year that I absolutely hate. Daggum bugs. Oh, man. That's good. I can't get him. I go to get him, and there he is right there. Let's see if I can get him. Ah, got the little beggar. Oh, man, I hate those things. So, anyhow, um, up here at the garden, just taking a look at things, and you can see behind me things are doing really, really well. By and large, um, things are really taking off. This uh, batch of tomatoes here just looking absolutely fabulous. In fact, I uh, hope it's not too late. My plan is to do a Florida weave here to support these. And hopefully it's not too late because they have really, really taken off. You can see my zucchini and summer squash in here is doing well. My zucchini, uh, summer squash over here is doing well, as is this summer squash here. And I actually have a tomato in here. I planted that as a lark. It was actually a volunteer that a buddy of mine gave me. So we'll see how well that does. Um... Got a lot of weeding to do to get caught up here. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at the peppers. Uh, the peppers down through here. I'm starting to put off some peppers here and here. And uh, then we've got some brassicas in here. I don't even remember what this is. That might be a eggplant. This here didn't take off, so we'll probably pull that. You see the tomatoes are just doing fabulous. Look at those. Going to have to uh, get those propped up here. Some more brassicas down in here. This was some kind of a pepper, whatever this was, didn't make it. You can see, got a lot of weeding to do here. My beans are looking great. Uh, the beans here are just looking amazing. This here is uh, okra. And down in here is some um, tomatoes, but it looks like they may be getting uh, choked out. Well, that's okra there. Some tomatoes down through there. Some of those are getting choked out by the, uh, by the beans. So... Um, my second planting of lettuce is starting to come up real well. And the spinach, uh, so-so. Looking at the kale, it's looking pretty good. Um, I've never tried kale. This is an experiment for us to see whether or not we're going to like kale. So, um, oh, got to, don't like that. One of the things about having hoses in the garden, so really be careful. Um, I moved them to mow today. And uh, so I got a little tangled up there. So my cucumbers are really starting to take off here um, and grow up into the trellis real well. My lima beans are looking good. So they're really coming up real nice. And uh, I don't know, maybe a bit of a challenge to pick them puppies. Uh, let's see here. Over on this side here, my brassicas, uh, red cabbage, regular cabbage there. Another cabbage variety there looking nice. Broccoli cauliflower. Got some uh, carrots in there. Now this here was onions and they didn't come up real well. Um, but it is what it is. You win some, you lose some. Uh, got some carrots in here. Looks like they're doing well. These onions are doing well, but you can see, need to weed. So we'll get caught up with the weeding there. Some more onions over here. This lettuce is just bolting. Uh, guess I planted way too much. My plan was to try to sell this. Um, and, uh, I just haven't gotten my roadside stand going. Um, so it is what it is. Uh, this here is, um, my turnips. Oh, look at them. Boy, they're looking good in there. And, uh, I was going to try some turnip greens, but, uh, we kind of fell behind here a little bit. I don't know what's going on with my beets. Um, looks like something is eating them off from the bottom. See that there? And uh, I don't know if that's a vole. Um, 
So if you know, let me know. Because this is not making me very happy. Losing a bunch of beets uh, to whatever that is. Got another volunteer tomato coming up here. My peas are looking great. Um, so real happy. We actually did some of them up. This is uh, Oregon snow pea, I think, maybe? Oh, mm. I love eating them. Coming right out here. Eating them right off the uh, off the vine. Mm. So good. So that's what's doing really, really well here in the garden. Very happy with the raised beds, by and large. That, that's going well. What's not going so well is my straw bale experiment. And you can see that these tomatoes which were planted the same time as these tomatoes, don't look anywhere near as good. This squash that was planted the same time as that squash, doesn't look anywhere near as good. Coming on down here, these beans planted the same time as these beans over here, obviously not looking anywhere near as good. Yellowed, very stunted. And part of that is because I wanted to see I had read that it takes a lot of water to do straw bales. And so I didn't want to give the straw bales any more water than I'm giving the raised beds. So when I raise, water the raised beds, I water the straw bales. When I don't water the raised beds, I don't water the straw bales. And uh, you can see that the raised beds are just absolutely um, a lot better. Here, these are peas, very stunted. These peppers, not looking great at all. Um, this is summer squash, planted at the same time as that other summer squash, not looking good at all. Over here, my brassicas, look at how dried out that looks. There's a big weed there. Um, so my brassicas all the way around here, just not looking good at all. So I am not liking the straw bales. Um, it was an experiment. Wanted to see how it worked out. And so far, I am not impressed. Now, having the... Um, squash here in the middle is uh, working out okay although this here was melon and it all dried off um, been very hot here um, but on these uh, uh, these squash and pumpkins are doing well and my sweet potatoes this is sweet potato vines here um, that one's doing okay that one's doing okay uh, this one over here Seems to be doing okay right there. So that one took, this one took, uh, let's see, did this one down here? This one looks like it may take. So the sweet potatoes in the straw bales may work out okay. But other than that, I don't like the straw bale method at all. Um, people are right, it takes a lot more water. And uh, so I would rather go the raised bed route uh, myself and uh, and do that so um yeah right now very very happy with where we're at on this garden um you know some things didn't come up well some things came up very well um but overall this is the best looking garden we've had in years and uh, it's been a, it's been a lot of fun to experiment with uh, different varieties here of gardening using the uh, square bay or the straw bale versus the raised bed, versus uh, these tires here. And, um, you know, it, it's been a lot of fun. It's been fun sharing the journey with you. And uh, so we'll see as we go through the, uh, through the harvesting season here, how well things, uh, how well things uh, pan out. But um, man, so far I'm very happy with what I'm seeing. And uh, so I just gotta get to work, get some weeding done. Um, get these tomatoes uh, staked up using the Florida Weave. So, whew, a lot of things to get done here. But, uh, man, this is just looking really, really good. And uh, so very excited about it. So, thanks so much again for tuning in to uh, another episode of 3B TV. Um, if you uh, haven't already, please give us a like, give us a share. And, uh, woo, there is a stinking man. Another one of them stinking deer flies. Boy, it really got me good. Whew. Look at that. You can see that bleeding. Little beggar. Oh, man. So I'm going to get in out of these, uh, these deer flies and, um, yeah, get away from them. 
get some other stuff going on here. And uh, But if you haven't already, like, share, subscribe. And uh, until next time, we will catch you later. Goodbye.